to Australia, even though my, you know, I studied English before I came here, the classic is um, when I started to work um, in my first job, they asked me to do an invoice and I said invoice, is that like a voice system? I learned the business from um, really, really basic ground. I, when I worked in a travel agency, I picked up recycled faxes from recycled bins around the office. And it was anyone from um, you know, the secretaries to the consultants to the managing director. And I had a folder full of these different faxes, how to actually um, write business letters. The first thing that I noticed when I was setting up my own home office was there was nothing uh, that was a bit more stylish. You know, obviously stationery has always been around, but not the stylish way for your home office. I started with S for stationery, yellow pages. And uh, I just uh, wore some shoe leather or whatever you say, <laughs> the Australian saying. And and, um, and just went to, you know, um, manufacturers, printers, and I learned, you know, the, the hard way, I guess, by just doing it, which I think is the best way. I started with the focus groups, and then I went on to wholesale, and then I went on to uh, selling online, and then uh, I actually convinced Paul to sell his house, uh, which is a bit scary, um, but uh, uh, we did, and we uh, started our first store in Melbourne Central. And uh, after that, we now have about, what is it? We'll have 12 stores by Christmas. And our first international store opened in New Zealand a month ago. And um, we also uh, export to Sweden, which is exciting, um, you know, bringing back Swedish design into our country. So we do anything from storage boxes to print, you know, to put your printing paper into, to um, live art, to um, binders. We do photo albums. I think it's really important to store your memories in, in a good quality album. We do beautiful pencils, notebooks, everyday things like erasers, pens uh, from Lamy. Well, it certainly hasn't been an easy ride all the way. Um, it was really, really tough financially for many, many years. We started with no money behind. We sold the house and that was about it. Um, there was many nights I was sleepless. Uh, obviously, um, not having cash was probably the hardest thing that I faced. However, saying that, I think my passion really pulled me through in terms of I had a really tough day cash flow wise but then you know the new products arrived and I kind of forgot about that so passion was really really important and I think also the other thing was vision I had a vision the whole time so this the short-term issues or struggles that I had was just really small compared to the big vision that I had my goal for the future is um, the sky is the limit um, however um, we'll probably have about 20 stores in Australia next year and and um, I'm, uh, I like to open in my favourite cities being Stockholm, Copenhagen, London, Paris, New York. Um, so that's, you know, that's a long term goal, but obviously next year we'll focus on Australia and New Zealand.